Here we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go to the question. Here we have a table of values uh, for x and y. The table shows three values of x and the corresponding values of y, where y equals f of x positive 4 and uh, f is a quadratic function. What is the y coordinate of the y intercept of the graph y equals to f of x in the xy plane? Here we have a table of values for x and y. For this function, y equals to f of x positive 4, and in which this f of x is a quadratic function. So for this quadratic function, we have to find the y coordinate of the y intercept. So what we have to do is first we have to find the quadratic function f of x. So how can you find the quadratic function f of x? So for to find uh, the quadratic function f of x, so we have to get uh, the three values for f of x corresponding to the three values of x given over here. So for that, what I need to do is first I have to solve for f of x in this function. Okay, let me do it. So we have the function y equals to f of x positive 4. Okay, to solve for f of x in this function, I have to subtract uh, 4 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 4, negative 4 will cancel out. I'm getting y negative 4 equals to uh, f of x, or it can also be written as uh, f of x equals to y negative 4. Actually, the table of values given here for this function, y equals to f of x positive 4. That is, when x equals to 21, the value of y in this function is negative 8. But now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find the value of uh, this quadratic function f of x for the given three values of x. So that's why I solved for f of x uh, in this uh, function. I got y f of x equals to y negative 4. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to get uh, the three values for f of x uh, for the given uh, three values of x. Uh, so first, let me write the values of x. x is uh, the first value of x is 21. The second value of x is 23. The third value of x is 25. Okay, now I'm going to find the values of uh, f of x. Okay, to get the value of f of x, uh, in this function, because I already have solved for the quadratic function f of x. Okay, in this function for y, I have to plug in the first value negative 8 because the negative 8 is the value of y corresponding to 21. Okay, to get the value of f of x corresponding to 21, I have to uh, plug in the value negative 8 for y into this function. When I plug in negative 8 uh, for y over here, negative 8 and negative 4 will become negative 12. So the value of f of x, which is, which is corresponding to 21, uh, the value of x is negative 12. Okay, now uh, to get the uh, value of f of x corresponding to 23, I have to plug in this 8 for y over here. When I plug in uh, 8 for y, I'll be getting 8, negative 4. So 8, negative 4 is just 4. And uh, now to get the value of f of x corresponding to the value uh, x equals to 25 is, I have to plug in uh, y equals to negative 8 over here. Negative 8, negative 4 will become negative 12. Okay, now I have a table of values over here uh, for three values of x and their corresponding values of uh, f of x. Okay, now what I need to do is uh, using uh, the table over here, I can get the quadratic function f of x. How? So we can use Desmos graphing calculator. Since it is a digital SAT math, the Desmos graphing calculator is allowed. So now we have to go to the Desmos graphing calculator and we have to give uh, the table of values over here as input and find the quadratic function f of x. Okay, now let's go to Desmos graphing calculator. Here we have a Desmos graphing calculator and we have a table of, a table of values for the quadratic function f of x. So now what I have to do is I have to give uh, the values for x and f of x. Uh, so here we have three pa pairs of values for x and f of x. I have to give uh, these uh, three pairs of values as input over here. Okay, let me show you here. Uh, to give uh, the, table of, uh, the table of values we have over here as input. So just on the left side top corner, there is a plus icon. You just click on it. So then uh, click on table and there is a table open here. So the first value of x1 in the table is 21. And instead of f of x, we have y1 over here. For y1, we have to plug in, uh, I mean, we have to give a negative 12 as input. So now uh, we can uh, move to the second row by pressing a tab button. So the now the next value of x1 is 23. The corresponding value for y1 is uh, 4. And uh, the next value of x1 is 25. And the corresponding value of uh, y1 is uh, negative 12. Okay, now I have given, uh, so all the three pairs of values are given input. Okay, now to get the quadratic function corresponding to these uh, three pairs of values, uh, let's go to the second row here. Just simply click on the second row, so it will open. Okay, so here to get the quadratic function corresponding to the given input, so first I have to take y1. So because here uh, I have uh, y1, so that's why I'm saying uh, that we have to take uh, y1 over here. So y1 is simply type and also simply type 1, uh, so it will subscript. And now, instead of using equal sign, uh, we have to use tilde sign. Tilde sign means like uh, at the bottom, there is a keyboard option here. So click on show keyboard option. And in that keyboard option, let's click on ABC. And there you have a tilde symbol sign over here. So when I click on it, uh, it will uh, come over here. And now press A 
and then x and simply type one it will become a uh, subscript and now uh, we have to get uh, x1 square for that we just press one to the number over here and to get square you just press a square and then uh, take positive sign uh, b x and press one it will subscript positive c that's it now i got the equations of uh, a b c for the quadratic function uh, required so the coefficient of a the quadratic function is negative 4 and the coefficient of uh, i mean the coefficient of a means the coefficient of x square is uh, negative 4 and uh, the coefficient of x is 184 the constant of is uh, negative uh, 2001 uh, 2112 so the required quadratic function is f of x equals to a x square uh, positive bx positive c so uh, for a we have a negative 4 so we can take a negative 4 for a then negative 4 x square positive for b we have 184 uh, x positive c for c we have negative 2112 so now i got the required quadratic function f of x okay but our aim is uh, to find uh, the y coordinate of the y intercept of this quadratic function to get the y coordinate of the y intercept of this quadratic function so what i need to do i have to plug in x equals to 0 into this function okay when i plug in x equals to 0 into this function what will happen let's see so f of 0 equals to uh, negative 4 times 0 square positive uh, 184 times 0 negative 2112 so finally f of 0 equals to so this 0 square is 0 0 multiplied by negative 4 will become 0 and 184 times 0 also will become 0 negative 2112 so finally f of 0 is equal to negative 2112 so the y coordinate of the y intercept of the quadratic function f of x is negative 2112